So in the previous videos, we looked at how to use pivot tables for simple analysis. And in the fo following videos, we're going to really dive into all the possibilities that pivot tables have to offer. So this is what we ended up in the previous video. So what we could do now is add another row field. For instance, add the date. And now we get a stacked list of rows. So we get the type of beer and underneath it all the dates on, on, on which we have sold the beers. We can open and close them like a folder structure and then we can investigate exactly at what date have we sold which beer. And we can swap them too. So we can make dates the highest level and then we get for each date what are the beers we have sold at that date. And that makes it easy again to really dive into the data and to understand what are my customers doing? When are they drinking what type of drink? What you see here, so so far we've only look at looked at sums, but we can use all types of different functions there. We don't need to use sums. There's a lot of other functions that we can use if we go to the value settings below, if we click them. Yes, there we go. If you click them, you can select a lot of other fields. So you see sum, but I can also use count or min or max. So let's pick average here. Let's pick the average amount of quantity that is being sold. And what does that exactly mean, the average amount of quantity? It's not the average of the entire column. What we get is the average per beer of whatever is in that quantity column. So you can see that if we sort the values, let's sort them. So we can really see what's going on. Yeah, there we go. We sort the values and we see that some beers are, are on average sold in a quantity of two. So we can say that the chocolate stout is really a date beer. People buy it in duos, whereas a Bud Light is usually bought in bigger groups. And that sort of makes sense, I guess. You buy maybe a, a couple of Bud Lights for your friends, but a chocolate stout, you might buy that for your date. So by using an average function, we look at the data in an entire different way. We're not looking at the total, but we're while flattening the data, we're taking the average per each type of beer that we sell. So in this way, pivot tables allow us to really dive again. I'm going to say this multiple times in this series, dive into the data and help us understand what it actually means.